Oh, welcome, citizens of ancient Egypt, to mission three in the pre-dynastic period and the third and final mission of this dynasty. Oh, 3,500 to 3050 BC. Per Wajit. Uh, this is a notorious mission, if I recall correctly, from the original pharaoh. We do need to get 600 population in modest homesteads. Let's go ahead and play that and get into the game. Mission three, here we go. The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit in the humid Delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river. To support a population larger than that of a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Welcome to the precarious Nile and the city of Perwajit. Let's get into this. Floodplains and farming. Yes, I know. Start building a city along with some farms and work camps. And this is a nice green mission, so you can see how a grassy mission looks like. There's some uh, papyrus reeds right there. There's some birds flying around over there. Okay, and we've got the, the floodplains over here. Are those? Are those some hippos? Hippos. The biggest, baddest, meanest mammal out there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dangerous. Okay, let's get a city going. I tend to build around here so let's just do a nice long road like that is that too long that might be a bit too long let's shorten it somewhat uh, I'll do this and do this so I'll have the road do this good and I'll road block there and road block there make sure we have some houses there and then we can get the essentials down. So let's do uh, water supply. Is that doesn't have to be anywhere specific. Let's put the water supply there. Position there. I will want to do... And let's do firehouse, firehouse, firehouse. Architect's post, architect's post, architect's post. Uh, what else do we need? I need to set up farms, so let's go food and farming. We'll need work camp, work camp, road block, and then build the farms, so fig farms. We'll, we'll overdo it a bit. That should be more than enough, and we just have the road extend out I'll just do that okay and then we connect this up to there and make sure we roadblock any access there and that will get things going yes uh, we'll need the granary which I will put a little bit back here and the bazaar right there. This will be accepting figs. And this will be, oh, there is an accept all button. Figs and pottery, okay. Uh, religion, right, I should get temple to Osiris. And I'll throw down a couple shrines right now, just to get that going, because I will forget that. We can't do the storage yard yet. Now, in terms of balance, this mission is going to be interesting to see how it exactly plays out because in the OG Pharaoh, the balance required more than one uh, booth. You had to spam up booths because originally the game required uh, one booth just to evolve the houses. But when they 
released the Cleopatra expansion, it rebalanced entertainment because they introduced the zoo. So then this mission got a bit confusing because you had to spam booths. Like you had to have three or four of them to actually have the houses evolve because just giving juggler access to people wasn't enough. <laughs> the, you, you needed more venues. So that... Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if the balance is the same here. And hopefully they do explain that as well. Fig farms are going. There we go. Very nice. 75% fertile, 94% fertile. This should all work pretty much the same. Cannot burn, cannot collapse. It's nice that they clarify those little points. Um, also, in the... Is this the encyclopedia? I can confirm that in the encyclopedia, a lot of this, which talks about the history particularly, has been rewritten. You know, there used to be various conjectures, some guessing, um, some filling in the blanks in the original writing. And it, it has been rewritten based on the most recent archaeological understandings as far as I'm aware. They did get an Egyptologist to make sure things are accurate. I don't know if they've like redone some of the, gr the graphics to maybe match history a bit better as well. I, I'm i not qualified to comment, but I will assume that some things were fixed up there as well. But I, I can confirm that the writing is different, especially in the, the encyclopedia parts about the history. Okay, let's get some food in. We got to get these figs going. Come on, farm. Does it say the... It's nice that the, the game can still run with these menus open. There we go. First harvest of figs. Very nice. Then we can start feeding people. Very good. Malaria. Yes. Okay. So let's slow the game back down. Services. Uh, apothecary. I can rotate that. Have that going. I can already do entertainment. If I just get rid of that house, I can fit the booth right there. Uh, entertainment. Uh, booth. Right there. And I'll put the juggler school over here. Keep upgrading your housing, it says. We don't have access to beautification quite yet. So let's get that going. A blessing from Osiris. I guess we don't really have enough food yet. I could spam down temples and shrines. You know what? Let's just throw down another temple. That'll help evolve some houses. There we go. Industry. Now do the clay pit and all of that. Yes. So let's go to production. Clay pit. Uh, see, I can't build it there because of it says the spawn point right there, right? So what I people always ask me why throw down extra roadblocks, right? Like why why do you need more than one? Because it's to block the spawn point. You see? Oh, that spawn point still there. It's trying to fit on the north side, but if I roadblock there. And then try it again. Look at that. The spawn point is on the right side. Oh, well, rather the left side, on the correct side. And that should now be fine because that's the worker seeker there. If I go into the options, actually, I can turn off worker seekers. So turn off recruiters and just go to global labor pool. And that won't be a problem. <laughs> Look, there's no more worker seekers. Everything just has workers. Copy that. Oh, I can't fit another. But that would mean... Yeah, I don't actually have to worry about this stuff. Just roadblock this instead. There we go. Production. Uh, no, production. Potters. Can also be rotated very nice. So I can do like facing that way, facing that way, facing that way. Give some visual variety. Very nice. Uh, we'll need to get some storage, stock and distribution, workforce and unemployment. Yes. That is also an option, by the way, to control uh, worker population. That's age simulation or fixed worker ratio. I'll be going through this soon enough. Don't worry. Um, storage, storage. Uh, stock and distribution. Storage yard. I didn't really leave much room for this, but sure, go there and accept just uh, pottery. Get that. Also, there is a 
clear button on storage yards now. So if there's like just some random resources, there is a delete those resources. It is there on the granary as well. It wasn't a great flood this year. But here we go. Let's get some pottery in. It is working. It is working. There we go. Some pottery. Um, small blessing from Osiris. Very good. We can allow to buying... Oh, it is already set to buying pottery. Beautification. Here we go. And this is something I want to try. So, for example, beautification, we do have the traditional draw gardens like that. But in the options, there was the select your gardens option. So let's confirm that. And now if I go to gardens, you can actually pick the kind of garden you want. It's no longer a drag thing. Garden. Yeah. And you can rotate. Yeah, if you press rotate, you can do this and go through all the different designs of gardens. That's very cool. What else we got? There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. But there's quite a lot. How many of these are there? There's that many two by two gardens. Okay. Um, did I even get through all the three by threes? I wasn't expecting that many. Okay, I got through all the 3 by 3s uh, Those are the 2 by 2s And then there's the one by ones which... Have a lot. That's still not the same. That many one by one gardens. <laughs> and plazas, of course. Which works similarly to before. Ah, oh, look at our lovely city. So I don't know whether I prefer the drawing gardens or the select your gardens. Drawing gardens is easier. Random and drag gardens, you know. But if you're a perfectionist and want to get your gardens just right, there's a lot of options and you can just place them just nicely like that. Hmm. I'm not sure which I prefer. Anyway, it seems this mission does have... This house cannot evolve as there's hardly any entertainment to be found in the location. So this mission does... The balance seems to be have been maintained. So I assume we can just do what we normally do. And get more booths going. No workers li Wait, did I... Oh, this is on recruiters. Um, did I switch that back? Or did it reset? I'm not sure. Global labor pool. Just, just to... Damn it. Wait, did I not save it? Is that why? Global labor pool. Confirm. I'm not pressing confirm. <laughs> that, that's why. Confirm. Okay. And then all of the booths have... Entertainment. Now, let's see if that is actually enough to get that going. Do I need to have jugglers in there? Let's find out. Uh, Ten modest homesteads to win this mission. There we go. Yes. Yes. So, Perwajit is still Perwajit. <laughs> Superb! Your own citizens are beginning to look to you as their caretaker, and neighboring cities also hail you as a provider in times of need. There we go. That is the end of Perwajit, and should be the end of the first dynasty, going into the Archaic period now with Neken. Ah. So that's the end of that, but we've got so much more to look at, so let's get into that.